Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use the Alembic Dust in Fusion. So I'm using uh, Fusion Studio 16, uh, so, but it will work, I think, up to, gosh, Alembic was, has been supported for a long time, so shouldn't be a problem. Uh, okay, so I'm going to right-click in my node view here and go to 3D and grab Alembic Mesh 3D, and it's going to automatically open up a, uh, a file browser here. We're going to go to where I downloaded my Dust library. And we're just going to grab the first one, basic random, and I'm going to drag it up into my first viewer and hit play. And there you go. Couldn't get much easier. Um, zoom out here so we can see it all happening. Of course, you can uh, rotate this and whatnot. In fact, let's do that really quickly here. Uh, if we wanted to rotate this, we could do, grab a transform 3D. And now we have the ability to scale it. We can rotate it. We can put it wherever we need it to be. In our case, I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, I am gonna show you how to get an accumulation effect with some depth of field happening uh, because this video was extremely short. It's so easy to just drag these in, load them up. All right, so what do we need to do here? Let's grab a camera. Cool, and let's grab a 3D merge. All right, we're gonna drag our transform into our 3D merge and our camera too. This is gonna merge them all together, drag the merge over here. All right, let me see exactly where my camera is. It's gonna be way, way too close. Let's pull it way back here. And let's go ahead and look at what that camera is doing. I'm gonna right click the word perspective here, and look for my camera, Let that play that down. That feels pretty good. Now we wanna render it out over here. So let's grab a render 3D, right? Drag that up into this view. I will get rid of my checker underlay. I'm also going to hit Control F to go full screen on this. And I'm going to turn off high quality and turn on uh, proxy in like a second, uh, second uh, scale. So it's going to be half the size. Play back a little bit faster there. Cool. All right, so we want to change the rendering type. We want to do some accumulation depth of field effects to OpenGL. And let's turn on the accumulation effects. Let's bring our uh, blur up to maybe like two, and then we're gonna change our quality to like 256, somewhere in there. Uh, we don't see anything yet because our camera is focused really, really close to the lens. We need to change that, so maybe change this to like 90. Now we're starting to see some of those come into play. Probably need a little bit even more. Let's try 150. There we go. Now we're starting to see some of that. Let's make this a little bit bigger so it's a little bit easier to see. Now I can play this down. Now we have some nice depth of field dust going on that's completely... Uh, let's go back into our merge. You can move the camera around, you can move the camera through it, you could actually bring in a camera from your 3D application and uh, go nuts with it. In fact, we can move our camera through that dust. Pretty cool. That parallax, we got the dust moving. pretty cool. So yeah, that is how to use the Alembic Dusts in Fusion. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.